Darsbury is a, is a UK national laboratory. We develop technologies for particle accelerators, um, which are then used for scientific exploitation. At Darsbury, from an accelerator perspective, the facilities you see here are the sort of uh, cutting edge machines that were put in place. So we're an attractive partner in worldwide projects for two reasons. One is their expertise and know-how, and the other is our facilities. We have very unique facilities that can both demonstrate, develop, and do the research towards future accelerators. The Large Hadron Collider is a giant particle accelerator built in Geneva under the Alps. It's the same size and depth as the Circle Underground Line in London. Now we've found the Higgs boson. We'd like to know more about it. To know more about it, we need to discover more of them. And to do that, we need more collisions in the machine. There are other rarer particles which may be being produced at the Large Hadron Collider, but not enough of them are being produced for us to detect. So we want to detect more of these events so we can discover things in a short time scale. So the UK is delivering some of the subsystems for this project. We are delivering what we call crab cavities, which are special radio frequency cavities which align the bunches so we have more chance of collisions. Uh, we're delivering collimators which take stray particles out of the beam so they don't damage things because the LHC itself has the same energy as a jumbo jet takeoff. So if it was to hit a component, it would damage it. And finally, we're doing some of the diagnostics to track what the beam is doing. So a superconducting cavity gives the benefit of providing very high acceleration um, for particle beams. They also provide a very low loss mechanism, so the RF power that you input to the structure, because of the characteristics of the superconducting device itself, means that it's highly efficient. The reason engineers are involved is the scientists tend to have the big ideas and you know ideas of how we're going to improve the machine, but the engineers are required to actually implement this, so the engineers tend to be involved more on the detailed side of things. The European Spallation Source is a 1.9 billion euro project in Sweden to build the world's largest proton linear accelerator. The European Spallation Source is often billed as the world's largest microscope, so this allows for interesting science in material science for looking at things like uh, you know new composite materials or looking at pharmaceutical materials or life sciences. So the UK is looking at six or seven different projects, four of which are based at Dursbury. I'm involved in two of the projects here, so I'm project manager for both the RF distribution system and the warm linite modules. Both projects have been running for uh, the last couple of years now. Uh, we've started production on all of the uh, warm linac units, so we're shipping out our first warm linac unit straight to Sweden, so they're our first production units that we've sent out. Eli MP is one of three facilities which forms part of the extreme light infrastructure. It's a project which is funded by the EU and the Romanian government. It's currently being built in Magarelli in Romania. The idea behind it is that we have a high intensity tunable gamma source that combines an electron beam and laser to produce the most intense, uh, brilliant gamma beam facility in the whole world. The UK are making part of this accelerator because Dersby Laboratory has over half a century of expertise in making accelerators and are world leaders in producing electron accelerators in particular. We're, we're trying to develop unique engineering solutions for what the, the next generation of facilities need. Having um, the appropriate levels of engineering um, specialisms is critically needed for coming up with an appropriate solution.